y'all. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, and if you're not, I hope things get better for you. I really, truly do. Um, some days aren't as good as others, are they? But we just keep on with hope for a better day, don't we? Today I've been working on taxes and I'm coming down here and it's um, early evening and I need to get us something good for supper and I thought I would smoke us a pork loin. Isn't he pretty? Yes. And um, I've already washed him and dried. He's ready for me to get to smoking on him. And it's the indoor easy smoke. So I thought I'd get on here with y'all. Um, I've got a couple little sweet potatoes that I'm going to get in the oven for John and me. I've washed them. And I'm pouring a little bit of olive oil on them. And I'm just going to put a little bit of um, salt on them. I had gotten out some sea salt. And I thought, well, what you do with it, Amy? <laughs> okay, guys. A little sea salt on each one of them or just some salt whatever you want to do i like to wrap my sweet potatoes so they'll have a salt outside when they bake and you can eat it all the way up to that skin you sure can and i i have baked them open not in the foil and they're good too but they get a little thick on the outside and, and kind of dry so anyway these are going to go in the oven on 375 400 whatever till they're tender okay I'm going to do that in just a second, but I'm going to get on here with y'all with this pretty pork loin. These loins um, I get at Sam's Club. I've told y'all that before. And this is about two, two and a half pounds that I've cut. But when I first get it, they literally come in packages. That's going to be two, a little over two feet long, if not a little more than a little over two feet and it's under $20 and just John and me, I can cut it in thirds and we can have three different meals on it. As a matter of fact, then with what's left over, we can have another meal. So um, that's a really good buy, really good buy. And when my boys were still home, I would just cut it in half and I would bake half a loin at a time, which was still a great buy that was like under $10 for our meat for the whole family. So. Anyway, I just love to do this, and this one was in my freezer. This is the last of my third, so I got to get back to that discount store. But when I bring them home, I open it up and cut them up. I wash them and put them in freezer bags. And now I've taken it out of my freezer bag and I've patted him nice and dry so he'll take on our seasoning. And y'all, um, I showed y'all how this indoor smoke, um, what was it, barbecued ribs? I think it was, yeah. And it's the same thing. Now, my barbecue ribs, I used a whole one of these disposable pans. And this is a half size, okay? A half chafing ditch size, but I used a whole one for the ribs. And I found another one of these little racks. This one came in a um, casserole dish that I had. And my casserole dish ended up splitting and cracking years later. But I kept this because they're so handy, these little racks for lots of things. And it fits perfectly in this little chafing dish, this half dish, right there, it actually will suspend my pork loin off the bottom so I can have my wood chips in there. So I love it. If you don't have this, you don't have a rack, you can take foil and make you a snake or a line out of some foil and then do it in a circle and you can put that on the bottom and that'll hold your loin up or your meat up too so you can kind of make your rack. You don't have to have one. I just happen to have this and it works out real good. So first thing I'm going to do is put some wood chips in the bottom. And I'm using oak today only because I haven't reordered any hickory chips for me. But the oak will be really good too. And I, I'm going to tell y'all again, I told y'all on the rib one, it's Camerons.com that you can go to. And I'm going to put it in the recipe, um, in the description box. I will put that. But I will also tell y'all right now because... Not everybody watches me on YouTube, but it's Cameron's, spelled C-A-M-E-R-O-N-S, products, all one word, products, P-R-O-D-U-C-T-S, Cameron'sProducts.com, and that's where you can find these little wood chips, and I'm going to show you, because you can use the wood chips you buy in the store, you certainly can, but they're bigger. But you can get some pretty small cut ones, but I love these, and I want to show them to y'all. I want to show you what they look like. See how they're little tiny chips? I just love working with these in here in the kitchen. They're very, very easy for you to work with indoors. So I'm just going to work. I'm not wetting them. That was one of y'all's questions last time. I'm not, not soaking these in water or wetting them down at all. And 
again, that's at least two or three good tablespoons so I could kind of just coat the bottom of this, okay? I know that's not a good measurement, but that's what it is. That's what it is. Okay, I'm going to put my rack back in here. And now all I need, and what I love about the disposal pans, disposable ones, I've used them before that weren't disposable, but then it is black and charred on the inside. I've used it once you put it on the fire, it's all charred on the bottom. I love being able to throw this away. <laughs> I do, I do. It's the week night and I'm ready for us to relax and get ourselves in bed ready for the next day, right? So I can have easy cleanup tonight. Okay, I'm going to make a little rub to put on him. First, I'm going to take my rings off, guys. So they won't be getting all in the pork loin. <laughs> okay, I've got me a little bowl. I'm going to do brown sugar. And this is just a teaspoon. So I'm going to do a heaping teaspoon of brown sugar. Matter of fact, I'm going to do two heaping teaspoons of brown sugar, okay? Because that's not a whole lot for that loin. So two teaspoons of brown sugar. I'm going to do a teaspoon of smoked paprika. And y'all knew I was going to get this out, didn't you? <laughs> I know it. I know it. Y'all knew it. I knew it. Everybody knew it. Even the dogs knew it, huh? So I'm going to do a teaspoon of that. And I, some just dumped in there without that. But it doesn't matter. This isn't a... This isn't any kind of uh, specific recipe. It's just what you like to put on your pork loin, and I love some smoked paprika, yes I do, and brown sugar, pork loves sugar on it, you do not taste it, it is not sweet at all, I promise, but it just loves it, it just enhances the flavor, I'm going to do a teaspoon of salt, and I'll probably do, I'm going to do another teaspoon of salt, because that's a two and a half pound pork loin. I want him to have plenty of flavor, bring out all his good flavors. I've got onion powder, and we'll put a teaspoon of that. Like I say, if you don't want that much salt, then you can do less, whatever you want to do. That's, that's what recipes are all about, we're calling them our own, right? <laughs> it's cold again today. It was hot just two days ago. Hot, like almost 80 degrees here in Louisiana. We've got 78, and now it's just freezing cold outside. We had a fire last night. We're going to have a fire tonight. Just back and forth and up and down. It's always a roller coaster ride. This is cayenne pepper, so I am not putting a teaspoon of that, guys. No, no, no. That would be kind of kind of hot to us. I'm going to put about a quarter of a teaspoon, okay? That's, again, all up to you. And then some fresh ground pepper. Mine's a pepper melange. It's got pink and white and green and black and red pepper in there. And I love that one, but you just got store-bought, already ground pepper. That's fine. I'm up here trying not to breathe, guys, because that pepper is just coming up. <laughs> it always makes me want to sneeze. Okay, and I'm using my fingers in here to mix this up because my brown sugar was in clumps. That's all I'm doing. All right, I'm getting my pork loin over here. So I won't dirty another dish. I've got, I've got him on the foil lid that we're going to put on our pan. So that way I won't get anything else dirty, right? I know. Now I'm just going to take my hands, my clean hands, and turn him around and flip him over and get him all coated. And I'm always sure to also put some on the ends. On the end pieces right here. So they won't feel left out. We sure don't want them to feel left out. They'll be very flavorful there on the end. I love doing this. It's like I've been smoking meat outside and I haven't been. I can stay right inside. and Because... I don't know, something about me, I've always got other tasks going on indoors. I can't just sit outside with my smoke fire going. <laughs> I always say, wouldn't that be nice, but probably not. I'd be bored stiff, to be honest with y'all. Okay, got him all covered. That was just enough, to cover him with very little falling off of him. And his, and his side that's got the fat, one side's real lean with me, one side's that fat cap up on top. I want it to stay on top for my um, baking, okay, because 
that way that fat will melt down in the meat and keep it nice and moist and flavorful. So keep it on the top. Please, please, something else I want to do. I'm going to wash my hands real quick, guys. Wash, wash, wash is liquid smoke. I know y'all knew I was going to get that out too because we're wanting to just smoke, smoke, smoke here. So liquid smoke. This is a liquid hickory smoke. It smells so good. And I am actually going to, um, tell you what, let me measure it. I'm going to put a tablespoon on here. I don't want to just pour this because liquid smoke is strong. Very strong. But it's very good. Yes, it is. I'm just pat that around. Pat it on. There we go. Now. Now. I don't even have to wash this lid off, guys. I'm just grabbing a paper towel to wipe my hands. But I don't even have to wash this lid either because that's just seasoning. I'm just going to put right down on here. <laughs> just like that. See how easy this is? And I mean, you're literally smoking it, so it's wonderful. We're going to put it over here on my um, ga my gas top stove on the fire on about medium low for about 20 minutes. And I'm really creeping this hard, okay, because I don't want it seeping smoke out in my house, number one. But over here, I actually can turn my vent hood on, so if any smoke um, seeps out or creeps out or sneaks out, it'll go up the vent hood, no problem. But also, after it does 20 minutes on the stove top, and yes, I'm going to stop here and tell you, yes, if you have an electric stove top, you can put it on an eye because you know you're going to have your meat off the burner. Um, it's going to be on that rack or on full up. Um, same thing, about 20 minutes. You want to make sure... And I would say medium to medium low heat. You want to make sure it's smoking. So I'll kind of peek into one corner like that and make sure it is smoking real good because it's permeating the meat for us. And after about 20 minutes, we're going to slide it in the oven. When I come back, I'll tell you what degrees I'm going to do in the oven, about how long, and what temp he needs to get to. We're going to have to temp him, aren't we? So let me move it over here. And I'm going to turn it on, literally. Literally turn it on. One of you asked when I did the barbecue ribs too, could you do it on a glass top stove? Could you do that? And I don't see why you couldn't. All you're needing is enough heat to get those wood chips smoking and smoldering down in there. So I don't see why you couldn't do it on a glass top. I really don't. Um, I have a gas top. I love a gas top stove. So. That's what I have is gas, because I like fire, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. But um, I've cooked on all those others, too, for many years. So my mama always had a glass top stove, and we cooked on that. And then John and I lived in a double wide and raised our boys for 15 years in there before we built this house, and we had an electric stove. So you can, you can do it on all of them. But I, once I said I could get what I wanted, I went to fire. Can y'all see that smoke coming out of this corner that I opened up a little bit just to check on? I hope y'all can. Yeah, there we go. That way we know it's smoking. Now I'm going to use a hot pad and creep that back down real good. And I'm going to let it go about 20 minutes. It's been 20 minutes and this thing smells so good already. Um, I'm going to slide it into the oven on 350 degrees. And I'm going to let it go somewhere in the neighborhood between 45 minutes and an hour, okay? And all our ovens are different, and all the sizes of our pork loins are different. So what I want to tell you is it needs to reach 145 degrees in the middle with a thermometer, okay? That's how you'll know it's done. All right, guys, I'll be back. I just pulled our pork loin out of the oven. I'm going to put y'all down here on him. There we go. Pull this lid up. Doesn't he look good? I'm gonna bring him up there and let y'all see him. Doesn't he look pretty? Oh, he's nice and smoky. I hope y'all can see that steam coming off of him. I'm gonna let this loin rest here.
so it'll retain all its juices for us. I'm gonna let it rest for 15, 20 minutes, guys, and then we'll slice it. Okay, y'all, look how pretty. So pretty, it's been resting, what, 20 minutes, baby, or so? Yeah. John's gonna say the blessing for us. Dear Father, I just thank you so much for this meal for this day. I just ask you, Lord, just please just watch over us. Keep us safe and the devil from us, Lord. Be with people in our prayers. Be with our nation, Lord. We love you so much and thank you for the day. In Jesus Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, guys, let me get y'all down here on the goodness. Let me get y'all on the goodness. Let's get y'all up here. Doesn't that look fantastic? Mm, it does. <laughs> you think it does too, huh, darling? Yeah. And then we're just going to slice it down here. Since we let it rest, that means all the juice has stayed in it. So he'll stay nice and tender for us. Mm. <laughs> John's up here making noises. You sound about like a caveman, baby. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm trying to decide which piece I'm going to get. <laughs> I'll turn him around here and I'll cut some off of that end, but I think I cut it off the good end there. They're both good ends, though, aren't they? Oh, they are. Yeah. Mm. All right, y'all. So good, baby. Does. <laughs> John's got a sampler platter going on. Ooh, mm. I found a little sampler piece. Yeah, this piece here, this piece right here, it needs to be sampled. Does that piece need to be sampled? It needs to be sampled a little bit, see. Mm. Is it tender? It's just mm -hmm. fouling? Mm -hmm. uh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can you taste the smokiness in mm -hmm. it, baby? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good, baby. Right inside the house. Isn't mm -hmm. that fantastic? Right. Yeah, right across there, baby. You want me to slice that for you, baby? And then and again? We're just gonna we're just gonna test this. We're having appetizers, y'all. Yeah, we're, <laughs> we're testing this piece here. We got dirty rice and a sweet potato mm -hmm. to go with it. Don't let me forget about the sweet potato in the oven, mm -hmm. okay? We won't forget. <laughs> oh, that's good. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. See y'all later. <laughs>